Welcome to Hyperscale Video Workshop. My name is Brett Green and I've got a new chair. Uh, I can actually revolve on it and it doesn't squeak. So uh, we've, got, we've finally fixed that, uh, that issue. A couple of months ago, uh, Hannans had the brand new FX 172nd scale Mosquito B Mark 16 listed uh, in their new arrivals. And I thought, great, I'll grab one of those, but I'll wait a couple of days and I'll put a few other things together for the package to send, uh, send out to Australia rather than uh, spending the, uh, the money and the postage uh, separately. Well, a couple of days was all it took for that particular model to sell out completely. Uh, and it hasn't appeared again until now. But uh, what I have now is the uh, the box which I assume contains the brand new FX 72nd scale Mosquito B16. So let's have a look inside and see if I'm correct. Otherwise there'll be a, uh, a bit of a change of direction in this video. So yes We have the FX 172nd de Havilland Mosquito B16. Very nice artwork. I'm really impressed with the artwork. This was a two-stage Merlin engine, and for whatever reason, two-stage Merlins haven't uh, fared very well in either 72nd scale or 148th scale. Uh, but this one is getting very good notices from people who know about the uh, the shapes of mosquitoes. So we'll we'll take that as given that, that it's an accurate kit. Let's just have a really quick look at the sprues and see what they look like. So using my my trusty Alpha knife. And it's it's a decent sized uh, box. It looks like there are two marking schemes that are made available to us. One in a night bomber scheme with uh, black undersides and the other with a more conventional day bomber type of a, an arrangement. So inside the box uh, we have everything packed into a, uh, a plastic bag. It's not resealable either so we'll just uh, cut that with, uh, with the knife to open it up and we'll see what the plastic looks like. FX can be a little bit hit and miss with the quality of their plastic uh, and with general uh, quality control issues. So I'll be curious to see how this one looks. So here we have the fuselage sprue and the plastic is really smooth. It's very, very nice and smooth. Uh, there are very few surface textures as you, as you would expect on the wooden fuselage. The engine nacelles are nicely done with crisply recessed panel lines. Uh, there are certainly no short shots or imperfections in the moulding that I can see here so far. The inside of the engine nacelles has structural detail to represent the, the wheel well walls. Um, and uh, yeah, it looks, uh, looks pretty good. Once again, I'm assuming that the shapes are correct because that's what the pundits are saying online and who am I to question the pundits? Here is the wing uh, sprue and wow, that, that's very, very nice. So let's see if we can get a, a close-up view. Uh, I wonder if you can see the, the very nice recessed uh, panel detail, raised detail where it's uh, appropriate. The elevators are moulded as part of the, the horizontal stabilisers and there's a, an insert that just goes in there as well. Uh, the rudder, can we see the rudder? There we are. Has scalloped um, fabric effect, which sometimes I don't like very much, but that, it's subtle enough. I think that's fine. I don't have a particular problem with it. So the wing screw looks good. Let's take a look at this one. So uh, we have, I'm guessing there are probably two of these sprues. 
we have the um, the chunky block main wheels as well as uh, spinners we have undercarriage parts we have exhausts which looks like like they're probably uh, two pieces per side uh, we have the the wide propeller blades the is it a hundred gallon I think um, uh, fuel tanks for the wings and other detail parts as well so it all looks well molded it all appears to be there on the sprues once again no imperfections that I can find as far as the molding quality is concerned and yes as I thought there's a second identical sprue to that in there as well next up we have a sprue with what appear to be probably bomb doors uh, looks like there's four bombs there as well some uh, other rack detail and so forth so most of this seems to have to do with the uh, the bombs and uh, and their their mounting and the final grey sprue contains detail parts for the cockpit by the look of it so um, the tail wheels there we've got the let's see if we can get that to go to focus there we go uh, we've got the control column we've got what appear to be alternative tail wheels one with uh, with a flat spot and one without I, I could be wrong with that but we've got the instrument panels the um, the seat main pilot seat the the jump seat, sorry, the uh, the navigator seat, and um, that's about it. So the final contents, plastic contents here is a clear plastic bag once again, which contains this time the transparencies, and this includes parts for. Uh, the bomber version and also the PR version so I'm not sure if you can build the PR version uh, straight out of the box but possibly with a separate set of decals and some other um, camera ports you'll be able to, to do that because we've got the blisters for the PR version that are included on this sprue uh, we've also got the rounded wing tips with uh, in clear which is a great idea with the wingtip navigation lights that are uh, molded in place so that's that and last but not least we have a small but uh, really nicely printed decal sheet uh, colors look good registration is perfect so that's it that's a really quick look at the airfix 72nd scale uh, mosquito b16 i'll uh, i don't think this will be in my on my shelf for too long I, I wouldn't mind building this one myself possibly as a uh, an Australian one in overall PRU blue uh, that was a bomber version as well well from me Brett Green at Hyperscale Video Workshop it's bye for now